Um, I just want to just tell you right now, I feel at home with all you ladies, is what I'm saying. <laughs> so I got, I got five sisters, I got a mom, I got a wife, I got a little daughter, but this is a true fact. Yes. I have been to more women's conferences than I have men's conferences. That's a fact. That is. I used to work for Joyce Meyer Ministry, and I had to go to all those conferences and do all the lady stuff. Girl power! You know, so. Um, from the time that we um, got together, it's just been a, a whirlwind, a ride, you know. We, people talk about, you know, race, and man, we just think about this whole deal. Like, we see race every single day. Yeah. I'm a black man. She's a white woman. We got five, you know, biracial kids. Half the time they think they're black. Half the time they think they're white. They don't know. You know, this message is to us, it's to, to us Christians. This is a message to Christians. We are the ones who claim to be in fellowship with God. We're the ones who have the light of Christ inside of us. We're the ones that have been given the mandate to spread that light. And yet we, the church, often wait for the world and we take our cues from them. And the world is misleading us in this whole race debate, this whole race issue. They're, they're misleading us. And that's, that's not what God intended. He intended for us Christian people, raise your hand if you're Christian. Yeah, it's us. We are the ones who are supposed to, um, to, to really set the stage, to, to, to shape the narrative. Folks, we're gonna be doing this together in heaven for eternity. Amen. We better get it, might as well get it straight now, Amen. right? Amen. Yeah. So We are Alex and Angela Bryant with Alex Bryant Ministries. So being a biracial couple, we found um, ourselves thrust into the spotlight right now. We did a video about four years ago that ended up going viral yes. and seen by about 40 million people on Facebook. And it was really to address the situation that was happening in our country. It was in um, response to a young black man who ended up killing five police officers in Dallas. He shot them and killed them. And in response to that, we made a video. The Lord kind of gave us these 26 statements, we wrote them on uh, cards and um, we got our family involved with it. And that really just started to open up doors for us to talk in the areas of racial reconciliation. I was actually the director of an inner city ministry outreach in St. Louis during the Ferguson incident. I walked the streets trying to help keep the peace between the people, the protesters and the police. I met with officer Ron Johnson and other clergy and pastors in town and it was during that time that we just really started to see this whole racial situation from a different light. We don't want to pick a side when it comes to being black or being white. We, we feel like there's unity. We have unity between the two of us. And so it has occurred to us that it can be done. The devil has been using the sin of racism to, to divide us, to separate us for years, for centuries. His ultimate goal is to try to stop the spread of the gospel. His plan was for reconciliation and restoration for all men. It's called Missio Dei, the mission of God to re reconcile all men unto himself. Man, racism, it causes hate. It causes us to not like people. It causes us to disassociate with people, to unfriend them. I ain't gonna talk to them anymore. I can't stand their posts. I'm sick of them, you know, and their posts about this, that. And these are people that need to know Jesus. The devil is trying to use the sin of racism to stop the spread of the gospel. It's time for us to say no. You know how you, when the check engine light comes on in your vehicle, and so you take it into the mechanic and then the mechanic comes back and he says, there's nothing wrong. Just the check engine light came on. And that's how I view this whole race issue. You know, we've kind of come to accept, especially those of us that have grown up in a predominantly white area, oh, that's just the check engine light coming on again. It's fine. It's the mechanics that it's fine. I don't have to worry about that. We do need to get to the root of why the check engine light's coming on, and we need to fix it. Our goal is to make Jesus known, and that's what we want to do. That's our mission at Alex Bryan Ministries to make disciples, teach people God's word, make Jesus known. Paul said that he needed to be all things to all people in order to win some. And we've found that this issue of racial reconciliation is a source of contention for some people. It's keeping some people away from the gospel. And so our heart has been to deal with racial reconciliation in an effort to clear a path for people to be open to receive the gospel message. So how do we fulfill our mission? Well, we believe that we are called to provide written, spoken, and media content 
that helps people reconcile unto God, themselves, and each other. That's what we want to do. So obviously, the first part of that reconciliation process is to lead people to the, the gospel message to salvation, to understand that sin separated us from God, but Jesus reconciled us back unto himself. And we want everybody to know that message. That's the gospel. That's the good news. That's our first and most important message that we want to get out. And then we talk about reconciling people to themselves. People often have a lot of issues and hang-ups and hurts that they hang on to and they don't know what to do with those things. And so I have a background in counseling and so I'm passionate about people kind of understanding who they are in God and how they can be healthy and whole when they understand who they are in relationship to God. And then finally, the reconciliation with each other. There's a couple of components to that. Right now, there's a huge focus on racial reconciliation, and that's a natural fit for us, being a biracial couple. But we also have a passion to see people reconciled in marriages and just in family relationships. So that's our threefold mission, to see people reconciled unto God, themselves, and each other. So we've written a book. It's called Let's Start Again. A biracial couple's view on race, racial ignorance, and racial insensitivity. And in that book, we share a lot of our own personal stories of um, race issues that we've had, of times that we've been experienced racism in culture. And um, we also share some of our own personal um, journey of being racially insensitive or being racially ignorant. Mm -hmm. I mean, we really truly believe that everyone has been the victim and everyone has been a perpetrator of racism. And so part of it as well, we need to redefine the terms. Not everything is racist. Um, and you know, right now we see how the media and politicians, is try they're trying to use race to divide us, to separate us, to cause us to fight within each other. And um, we believe that not everything is racist. Some things are racism, it truly still exists, but some things, they're instances of racial ignorance. Sometimes people just don't know what's going on with different cultures and they're ignorant to it. And then sometimes people are racially insensitive. They, they probably do know, but they're just being insensitive. They're not being racist. They may just try to be out to fight against political correctness. So many voices are telling us that we have to pick a side in this whole race relations struggle. But we're saying rise above picking a side. Be united. Christ has reconciled us to God. He can reconcile us to each other. And then we can go and spread an example of light and love to the world that so desperately needs to see it. One of the scriptures that we love to share is 1 John 1, 5 through 7. We know that God is light. In him, there's no darkness at all. If we claim to be in the light, but we don't live that way, then we're liars because it's the blood of Jesus that purifies us from all sin, even the sin of racism. And it allows us to have fellowship with each other once we've been cleansed, once we're like Jesus. If you're truly living like Jesus and acting like Jesus, racism is not an issue for you. It's time for the church to rise and take the lead in the conversation that needs to be had and, and bringing about unity and bringing about peace. The church has to lead because we're the ones that have the Holy Spirit inside of us. The Holy Spirit's gonna lead and guide us. The Holy Spirit's gonna give us favor with people. We're the ones that can speak truth in the midst of all the darkness. So many people are just mad and frustrated. We're the ones that can speak with the dialect of love, of peace, of unity, of harmony. We are the ones that should be facilitating the needed discussions instead of withdrawing, being afraid, being fearful, being frustrated to engage in the conversations. Our message is for the church. Our book, we have a podcast, it's called The Way We See It. And all of these tools and resources, we want to use them to resource, to equip Christian people, the church. And we wanna inspire and motivate us with the message that we are the ones that should be leading in racial reconciliation. Our goal is to help the church be reconciled unto God, ourselves, and each other. We would love to have the opportunity to share our message with you and with your congregation, the message of reconciliation. You can reach us at alexbryant.org, or you can check us out on Facebook, Alex Bryant Ministries. We're also on Instagram, 